Hi guys, welcome back. This is Nandita Kothari and you're on my channel, Nandita Kothari. So this is the 13th week of my university right now, of this semester. And uh, I didn't realize how fast the time went. This week is the last week when we are going to have online lectures. Next week is just going to be um, revision kind of weeks. So I don't think there are going to be classes. And then the next, the uh the next next week we have the final exam so this week is literally the last week where i can actually uh, show you the online lectures that we are having current time is 8:50 8:50 a.m. I have a class at 9 a.m. It's an online video Zoom class. I managed to take notes and watch it half asleep. So online classes are going good. This is how we give attendance. This is creativity and visual expressions class. I have this Mondays and Wednesdays at 9 a.m. I have not even gotten out of bed. I just woke up and I was up last night and then I think I 3, 3 a.m. I submitted an assignment. So yeah, I, can, I couldn't wake up earlier. This is the best I can do. Anyways, the class will start soon. some professors offices including mine so that's the professor we lost him for like since uh, half a minute so now we just Everyone's just like, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. I'm back. Uh, what about He's you? back. <laughs> uh, be fair. Korean. Even okay. if the class so, is in English. Uh, maybe that will... Yeah, the class is over. So the class is not... Needs to be technically till 10.15, but he usually finishes early. Uh, yeah, so... Now I have, I didn't really have notes today. He was just explaining the final assignment and stuff. So my next class is at 12 p.m. Uh, I think I'm going to take a one hour nap and then freshen up, have breakfast and all of that before the next class. So, so yeah, I think I'm going to sleep for an hour again. <sighs> It is almost 12 p.m. and it is hot, so I'm running on the AC. Ah. And it's time to get some sunshine in. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, I almost broke my tripod, but everything's fine. Now I have 25 minutes until the class starts, so I'm going to have quick breakfast. So for breakfast, I'm going to have oats with yogurt and apple and the cereals. And with magic of editing, you will see my final breakfast here. 
Tada! So yeah, that's my breakfast. Oats, apples, yogurt and cereals. No matter how ugly it looks, it is delicious and it will keep me going through the day. So, I have literally 10 minutes before the class starts. So I'm going to eat this very pali pali. Okay, so it is 11.54. I have 6 minutes to eat, which is a lot of time, to be honest. So 11.55. So this is how our cyber campus looks. Here are all the classes that you're taking. So next class is Korean language history and uh, language and history advanced. And till now this class we have been having just PPTs like these. You just play the file and so we have been listening to classes like this throughout the whole semester. But today is a special class and we are going to have an online class and here they post so every class you have all of these so syllabus online lecture announcements Q&A where you can ask questions materials attendance assignments blah 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 so here in the announcement she put out the link for the zoom so I'm just going to go in in this class we are using three books the this is Basically, this is a set, so this you can count this as one book. There's the Weigu Inner Vihan Hangugo from the Hanguk University of Foreign Studies, it's level 5, and there's its workbook. So, yeah, the book has like eight chapters. We only covered five chapters because we are also doing another book, Handani Ilnen Hanguge Yoksa Il E, which is uh, reading. Uh, Korean history. I don't have the physical books. I just have the ebooks because they were cheaper. Anyways, these are the two books that we are um, following in this class. So this class is basically one of my major classes, but I think it would be same if you go to the language school. In my major, which is the Global Korean Studies major, there are uh, three uh, Korean classes that foreigners can take, beginner, intermediate and advanced. forgot to read. Yeah. your name? What do you say? Oh. Hmm. Chilla Rajin. Here we are. This is the Kyoso name. I'm mute. Don't worry. Other people. We are 52 people in this class. I had no idea. So we are doing this attendance thingy. You have to go on cyber campus and put in this code and then you get your attendance. I'm, uh, it's the first time I'm doing this. Shingi <gasps> Hada. We are 64 people in this class. I have not met any of them. It's now 12.17. So it has passed 17 minutes already and we are still taking attendance. This, yeah, this is chaotic with six, with like 50 people, and the, she's just checking attendance for now. This is going very well. I don't know how long will the class go because I have a next class at 1:30. We're just waiting. One semester later. I don't think this class has people only from my major. I think they are from, there is just the regular language institute and people in my major, Korean studies major, we can just take those classes and get credits. Okay, so now she's starting, finally, yes. So right now we are not really following the book, we are doing a grammar pattern. Is the indirect speech, which is very, um, it has its own rules in Korean. And this professor, she kind of talks really fast, I mean I understand her, but there are so many people in the class who don't really understand her. Okay, so 
finally done with the Korean class. It was basically just the stuff. She repeated all the stuff that I have studied like twice in the past one year and uh, now it, it's 121 and at 130 my the last class for the day starts and it's the computing class um, so we are learning python in this class and it's a it's a obligatory class for uh, students for actually all the students in our college so the college of media arts and science every student has uh, Computational thinking, the course for computational thinking is obligatory for uh, every student of the college. And for us who major in Global Korean Studies, we have a separate pan or separate class where only students of Global Korean Studies are and we can take only that, we can only select that class. So we have this class on um, Wednesdays and Fridays at 1.30 p.m. So for the first weeks we basically followed this website called arcadegames.com and we did all the chapters so that was basically us learning the basics and right now since the past two or three weeks i think we are solving questions on this website called codewars.com and uh, we are basically for every class we have to solve like two or four two to four questions so for example there are problems like this and then you have to write a code for that so that is how the past couple of weeks we are doing the classes which is i think is really good because we get to practice a lot and repeat the same codes over and over again so it we kind of got i kind of got used to the structure and the logic now so i have a couple of questions to ask today regarding the final assignment I'll show you my final assignment. So this is my final assignment. As you can see, this is all the final assignment. There's a text in Hanja, which is the Chinese characters, and we need to like analyze the text. So this is the code that I've written so far. And then I have a couple of questions, so I'm going to ask that. And yeah, that is how the class is going to go today. It's 1.30 and now I have so now I have the computing class. Then, apparently this class is supposed to be in English. For the first 11 weeks he did it in Korean and then last week he just, uh, he was like, oh, we have to do it in English because this is supposed to be in English and now he's doing it in English. But anyways, I just finished my computing class and uh, I also volunteer with an organization called TNKR and I tutor English to North Korean refugees. So I have a tutoring session at 3.30, right now it's 3 p.m. So I will go very fast. I take like 20 minutes to walk so I should be fine. And so yeah, after the tutoring session, the tutoring ends at 5 p.m. And then I have to go to my part-time work which starts at 6. So, and that ends at like 9, 9.30, 10, depends. So yeah, today has been a very busy day. From 9 to 9, this is Shinchan, and there's this fried pancake shop, which I always eat at whenever I'm in Shinchan. Too good. Going to the class location. So I just finished the lecture the tutoring class and it is 5 20 ish i still have time to go to my part-time job i think i'm going to get something to eat very quickly i think my donut shop i'm going to get the yache donut the vegetable donut she's not there oh i think i'm just going to wait she didn't really come i waited so now i'm just going towards the bus and Let's see if I find something on the way to eat. Yeah, I wasn't really that hungry, so I'm just going to the the restaurant where I work. I don't, yeah. I'll eat something when I come back home, I guess. I'm not really hungry right now, so I'm just going. I'll take a bus. I don't want to walk, it's too hot. So this is where I work from 6 to 9 or 10-ish 
every day of the week from Monday to Friday, sometimes also Saturday. I just started this Monday. So if you live here, come here to eat. Uh, it's 10 p.m. now and I just finished my part-time and now I'm walking back to the uh, dormitory. Oh, oh, so imagine she just farted on the street. Anyways, so yeah, the day is not ended yet. Oh, I'm back home now and yeah, I just need to do all the other stuff. I need to take a shower, eat food, finish a lesson and then go to sleep. I took a shower. Now I feel good, I feel fresh and I'm awake again and I am going to prepare dinner now. It's 10.40ish, it's going to be a late dinner but I usually even if I'm home, if I'm not uh, working or doing anything, I usually just eat breakfast and then the whole day I'm doing something and then I forget to eat and then uh, it's already 10 and I realize ah, I haven't eaten and then I eat so it's kind of... Mm, not really weird for me so now I'll just cook some rice and some bok choy uh, with tuna and uh, kimchi so it's going to be like a bibimbap um, yeah very quick bibimbap so I have my microwave rice it is sprouted brown rice so it has like fiber and stuff and it's nice and chewy I really like it I have my vegetables all what half a carrot half a cucumber bok choy and this is like an instant soup this is miyok poop which is seaweed and beef soup so you just put it in the cup and put hot water and just leave it for two minutes and it's done i have half again of eaten tuna chamchi and then i have already my i keep my salad leaves stored like this like i pre, i wash them dry them pre-cut them and store them in an airtight box with paper it it stores for a long time that way at least a week i have stored it for a week and i have my kimchi here which i'll heat up with i think with bok choy and i might put a li little bit of mayonnaise kimchi mayo oh chamchi mayo chamchi kimchi mayo anyways that's it so everything this all will be cooked together in the microwave this will also go in the microwave that just needs hot water and then you just mix up everything and Good to go here i have my bok choy nicely chopped like small pieces so that it will cook faster even the carrots they are very very th thinly sliced and my kimchi i just i don't want cold kimchi in my rice because then it will become all cold so it will be kind of like a bokum kimchi stir fried kimchi i mean just warmed up kimchi i guess but anyways this is all the veggies that i'm going to eat today and this will go in the microwave for like three to four minutes and the rice will go in for like two minutes and i think i'll mix up everything and put it back for a minute again so that it's nice and warm and then i put the cucumber and the lettuce and seaweed the kim and a little bit of mayonnaise i think and it'll be done so like yeah 10 more minutes and i can eat taste a little bit to see if it needs more salt or not mm. oh, oh. Mm. oh my god oh it's good oh it's a little bit spicy and tuna is and kimchi is oh i like it mm, maybe a little bit of soy sauce and mayonnaise and we're good to go so this is how it looks like now. I have my salad, my cucumber, my seaweed, this is kim, mayonnaise, and I put a little bit of sesame oil and a little bit of soy sauce. And now I'm just going to mix all of it and eat it. It's a nice big bowl of healthy 
balanced food. So, yeah. Let's eat it. So, I'm eating. And I think I'll watch uh, some episode of some series. Oh, yes. There's the new space, 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 space force. That is what I'm going to watch. Michael Scott, I such an amazing actor. Okay, that's how I'm going to eat. Okay, so I have finished my dinner and watching that one episode, which was fun. And now I'm going to finish one of my lectures and then off to bed. So this lecture is um, Korean writing. Where is it? Korean writing for foreign students. And this is how if if the if we are not having online Zoom classes. Uh, then the professors they just record the PPT and upload it in a video file so when we finish the video file that is when we get the attendance so this says that it's 86 percent done but it's not because I just I paused the video for a long time and it was just there so I still have how much I still have yeah Oh, more than 30 minutes to go. Anyways, I can do it. It's not a lot. So, I'm going to finish that and then go to sleep. Oh, so I, I finished my lecture that I had to watch. I have the same class also on Thursday so it's already past 12 so the professor she has already uploaded the video for tomorrow and I can already watch it so I think I'm going to watch I think I'm going to finish the this uh, the next uh, tomorrow's lesson right now so that tomorrow I just have one class to attend and that's it so I'm awake right now so I'm yeah I think I'm going to I'm going to watch another video lesson and uh, yeah uh, today was a long day I mean it's still not over uh, the video lesson is like 40 minutes so I think I'll sleep at around 1 30 ish which is not so bad actually I usually sleep at around 3 3 30 uh, so yeah so tomorrow I can wake up I can sleep in late and still get a proper 8 hour 8 to 9 hour sleep which I usually do so I need to do that and tomorrow now I just have one class to listen. I'm not super tired. Uh, it's I'm like a good tired. Like I did a lot today and I feel like I'm going to sleep really well today. In Korean I would say It's 1.33 a.m. now and I just finished my last lecture for Korean writing class of this semester so now I just need to finish my last assignment oh, today the at the restaurant there were so many people I didn't have time to sit at all so I was like uh, just yeah going around for four hours and then I walked back home and then, yeah I walked a lot today I should see how many steps um, not all my days are this busy like today but you, I kind of got to show you a little bit of everything that I do in, during the week in just one day so I'm happy about that um, but like I don't really do all of these things every day of the week so yeah it's not that bad it was a good day at the at work it was a good day in the classes it was a good day in general so 
I will sleep really well today. So, thank you for watching. If you did really watch until the end, I don't know how long this video will be, but yeah, I'll be editing it soon. I hope. I hope I get the time to edit it. And uh, so yeah, that was a Wednesday in my first semester of Solang University, which is completely online. So, uh, yeah, you got a sneak peek into how online semesters uh, go in South Korea. Hopefully, next semester would be offline, but we never know Corona. What will happen to Corona? Will it go away? Will it not go away? We don't know because cases are coming up all the time in Seoul. Some new cluster always formed like after two or three weeks. So we never know. We I don't know if next semester would be offline or online. There is a possibility that it might be online. Uh, I think that this Corona until a vaccine, a, a really strong vaccine, a, a hundred percent sure vaccine, va vaccine, vax, vaccine vaccine i don't know which accent i'm going for anyways unless a vaccine comes out i don't think it is i think it will it is very unpredictable we can i we can't really predict we never know so yeah uh this might not be the only online semester but hopefully this be this would be the last online semester because yeah i really want to go to the class and just shout my doubts and i don't want to like wait for the right timing uh, on the zoom call that's that's very annoying so yeah that was a day in my <sighs> university life my first semester at sogan which is all online and my part-time job and volunteering work and all of that so this is what i'm doing right now and i hope you enjoyed watching this video i don't even know if you even care about what i do but i don't know i think it would be a nice video for my mom to watch uh but all the other guys all the other people i don't know if you're watching this vlog i don't know what you're doing with your life but i hope you had a fun time following me around during the whole day and uh, yeah this is it for today and now i'm going to go to sleep and have a good sleep this night and uh, yeah i'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more fun videos like these um, about my student life my university life in korea or my foreigner life in korea or i don't know all the other stuff that i'm going to make and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i don't know you could put whatever you want in the comments i don't know what you would comment on this video but you could comment if you want i mean that helps and yeah please come back next time because yeah i really need you to come back and watch my videos but yeah i can't really force you to do that you'll come back if you like my videos that's how econ economy works that's how capitalism works if i am fulfilling one of your needs then you come back otherwise mm, you don't so that's how it works and uh yeah if you come back you come back if you don't then i have to find out why and work upon it anyways <laughs> Have a fun life, have a fun day, have a fun weekend, have a good, yeah, have a good everything and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, oh. Okay, that, that happened.